All right, click the links, join channel, become a member. You got the subscribe star. There's stuff over there as well as Odyssey, Bitch, you Gab, Gab TV, and the various other links. So I really wish they had like a one universal front end uh, uploader for for massively parallel video platform uploading. It's, you know, some engineers should really get to work on like something that's such an obvious, obvious solution. Anyway, so quick video because there's two two little points about this kind of attack dog media. Um, as you scroll through this whole thing, she doesn't give any links to... Uh, she did an interview with Tucker Carlson, and she's talking about her deal with Disney. So she scrolls through this article. She doesn't give any links or any quotes or any images to show like what happened. It's just an opinion piece about what a horrible, bigoted person Gina Carano obviously must be, but without actually just having going to the tweets in question or at least screen capping them or archiving them um, which is weird you know because you're writing an article about some someone that kind of uh, hints to defamation you're accusing them of um, some very not serious things and then something that could be serious but you know you're lying about it that's why you didn't provide the source for it. the the four things in question that are on the screen the um, I'll start with the, the pronoun thing um, which is pretty minor but she uses it, you know, she she opens up that line of argument by, by introducing it so it can be rebutted. Um, the pronoun thing, you're saying that the left is openly forcing you to speak, espouse views you don't believe in, compelled speech. Which is why they did the pronoun thing, by forcing you to speak, by forcing you to, like, compelled speech. You know, it's the, the meme of the left-wingers, except they're in their communist uniforms. And they're looking around, they go, oh, are we the bad guys? We're compelling people to speak, otherwise they, uh, otherwise they might get canceled. It's not, it's not the content of the speech, it's that you have to speak at all, which means you're kind of getting, they're forcing you to get on board their ideology by listing pronouns when like, you're obviously a female. But it's, it's, it's not that, it's that why should we have to be compelled to speak at risk of punishment? So... The second thing is, besides the lack of links and quotes and JPEGs and archives that you easily could have included in the article, like I do when I do my little bits, is um, she, uh, she, so what, what happened here is a little bit of a, a time traveling justification. There's probably a Latin phrase for it, ex post facto, maybe, where, um, I, I don't know if that's the right phrase, but where they have, they did something horrible I mean, this is, this is like Russia in 1960, from Russia 19, you know, 45 to about uh, 19 mm, until the end, 88, 89, until the collapse. I did this kind of stuff, though. I mean, things were getting kind of sloppy in the 70s, like infrastructure was start, starting to break down. Like people were looking at each other at the concrete mixes that they were using for like electric, uh, hydroelectric generation. They're looking at these concrete mixes and like, this isn't going to last even a few years. Like, doc, comrade, it's like, but by that time, like, we'll be on a different project and, and the paperwork will get lost and this thing will collapse. It's like, it's, there's just nothing you can do. Um, when, when you have to, like, the, the history of, like, Russian communism is really fascinating when the stories came out in the uh, in the 90s. Anyway, so so what, what happened was they did something horrible. They canceled this chick for very little um, justification. And that's why she's not including... Um, images or any kind of evidence to back it up including she says something about the hologram it's like you know that wasn't what she was saying but even if it, she was talking about the precursor to war in um in europe as she's talking about she drew a, a similar uh, um, analogy simile metaphor I, I don't know one of those things to conditions where you're uh, you're hating the neighbor it's like what the left is doing now to people it's like yeah that's a that's a fair comparison but you don't include any. You don't include that tweet because you don't want people to make up your own mind. You're, this is just a fait accompli. You're you're giving them the conclusion, but there's no issue, rule, analysis, argument. So what happened was they did something horrible. They canceled somebody for very little justification. So then, and like this is kind of like yes, they are canceling people for for you know, or they're trying to cancel a lot of people. Some people are kind of uncancelable. Or they they just don't care. They move on to other things, but. It, it shows you like they're doing horrible things and they have to go back in time and go, oh, this is actually justified what we did uh, because she uh, she didn't use pronouns. And like if if and she questioned uh, wearing a piece of cloth type of thing, which, you know, it's like Google is on this, this narrative, too. And questioning elections is like 
well, that's part of your right as an American. All those things, all four of these things are part of your right as an American to question uh, somebody's, should you be forced to compel speech? I mean, there's Supreme Court de decisions that, that, that deal with, with that, um, that give you some some reasoning on when compelled speech might be justifiable for like license plates holders for, I think it was a live free or die case in like Rhode Island or New Hampshire or something like that. I actually forget that. Or the, uh, the fuck the draft case when the guy wore that to court and, or the, I mean, there's a bunch of, you can go get an old constitutional law book and, and it's like, he, it's definitely worth like the 10 bucks to buy a used book like that a law school book. It's a fascinating history. But like, uh, but this is for social media po posts and for for her job as Disney. You're saying like you're using this as one of the justifications, which is weird that you would include it when you have something um, so much more more powerful. Um, the last argument she lifts, uh, I'll say the hologram for the the algorithm. That would be your most powerful argument. Somebody contesting an election. Well, well, people did that in 2016. They do that every election. Uh, you know, questioning an election. It's like that's commonplace. That's why would you deserve to get fired for that? Or uh, wearing um, something, you know, some 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 uh, uh, cloth type of thing, you can there. There's justification uh, both for both arguments for that. In fact, there's a lot of history behind it. And the the pronoun thing, it's like you list that as as one of your arguments. These four arguments, you know, all without hypertext, because you knew you did something wrong. You cancel somebody, and as it turns out, you're looking at it, it's like yeah for nothing she was just she's just a nice person who didn't want to be compelled to speak and you forced you wanted to compel her to speak and do this little kind of stochastic terrorism as a warning to other people that if you don't comply which is a lot of what this stuff is about it's about getting the npcs to comply where you know if like if you ask questions if you become a squeaky wheel you're going to get greased and um you know gina had an interest i call her by her first name because i we're on first name basis. <laughs> she posted a tweet, I don't know, a year ago or two years ago about the red ants and the black ants fighting and they, and they're, they can coexist, but who shakes the jar? And then she asked who's shaking the jar. That was interesting. Um, anyway, like look at the four justifications she lists, pronoun, masks, election, hologram to cancel her. It's like you're making very serious accusations. You'd think you'd provide those archives or those screen captures because she's still on Twitter, I think. Um, so those tweets should be up. But, I mean, but the images are definitely floating around. It's like it was weird. It's weird that you make such serious accusations without uh, backing up and then going through and calling her her bigoted um, and trying to say uh, trying to say they tried to work with her. It's like, well, that sounds like you're sending them to the gulag for wrong think it is yes yeah, she is the victim she got fired and the justification you list for her getting fired is is nonsense she shouldn't be forced to be compelled to speak and the fact that you think it's justified it's like the left can't take an l on anything because once you take one l it starts to unravel everything so it's good that gina carano got fired because it leads to these it, she leads to these ridiculous examples of you have to justify it. And then when someone else gets canceled, if it's a friend of the left, uh, like who's that guy, that Frank's guy who, who uh, resigned because he was sexually harassing some, 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 some lady or something. It's like you have to, if, if when the left wing people start getting fired, like when hashtag me too collapsed because it was all left wing people or almost all left wing people, like very public left wing supporters, um, you have to justify like, oh, well they shouldn't, be collapsed like accusations against trump are, are credible but accusations against biden aren't and like even even people don't follow politics look at that and go no no they're not why, why are you like clearly you're partisan clearly you're biased if an accusation by one person is by you know judge kavanaugh is valid then it's equally any accusation has to be treated the same way except when it's against um like people the left wingers in hollywood you guys suddenly get very defensive which is why hashtag me too just just kind of dropped off the face of the map because it was all left-wing people so like you you have to these people have to justify canceling it puts them in a worse position where anything it's like the trick with martha's uh martha's vineyard when they're they're busting the people there um and people are like yeah why don't why don't you just return them to where they came from you know you're not owning the lives by by busting them further inland but i thought about it and it's like actually it is a good publicity stunt because it shows the hypocrisy of Martha Vineyards, which what they did was, you know, multimillionaires living on this island. They immediately crowdfunded a deportation plan to uh, deport them from Martha's Vineyard 
into uh, into other areas of America because they didn't want to take care of them. It literally exposed them for being not in my backyard people, which is amazing because anything that kind of helps, like they were going to come in no matter what. So you're busting them, busting them into Martha's Vineyard is actually, or into New York or into Chicago is awesome because it does show that there's an issue here. It brings attention to it. So, I mean, I think Gina Carano is, is going to be just fine, but she's like, they're making her the girl to hate. And you look at it and it's like, yeah, I don't see the hatred here. That's why they don't show you the original tweets because they're trying to manipulate you in, into hating her. Anyway, uh, the Mary Sue is a horrible, a horrible publication. Rachel Leishman is, uh, you know, in, in a perfect world, she'd be sued for defamation. Um, but, uh, you know, like realistically, that kind of stuff just doesn't happen because everything that she's saying is just, you know, it's like, is it really opinion? Uh, yeah, maybe, but I, I don't know. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next episode.